Alex, what's been happening? I mean, like, apart from seeing you this morning when we... <laughs> Walking over with so brain dead to today. Morning, fucking daylight out. <laughs> yeah. Pulled the blinds down. Did you sleep? I back in, oh, bro, I slept, like, straight until 3 p.m. Yeah, yeah, I slept till about the same, maybe maybe a bit earlier. But I, I got two hours of solid sleep, and I end up just getting up and pottering that, around. I was just saying, I have one of those. Not, on those your nice. <laughs> you can? <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, a little bit. Bags under my eyes? Oh, a little bit. A bit of slowness. Oh, definitely. Yeah, Jeff. Cheers, not, out of, not out of second gear tonight. To the Insomnia Club. Yeah, well. Uh, no, I feel better when today. I don't sleep. That's the problem. Mm. Mm. Delirium puts me in a fucking good mood, yo. Don't you Everything's reckon? funny. Like, yeah. I'm just more charming. It's like, it's like, um, it's, it's like being drunk. It just shuts off. <laughs> a, your brain can only do so much. And it shuts off the stuff that's almost unnecessarily worry. You know, the unnecessary worry part. It's like I can't be fuck thinking and worrying about these things. I don't have the energy in the brain. So it's just like, all right, so that's filtered out. What's left behind is just, you know, what we should be doing 24 hours a day. Just, just <coughs> being us and not taking anything too seriously. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, and, and, like, I, I can just, I have a distinct difference when I have a good day where I don't, I don't, have, a few things don't happen. Songs don't get stuck in my head so much. I don't hear the constant, like, um, are you doing this right? Are you doing that right? Are you being this good? Are you being that good yeah. voice? That's that judgment voice that sits in the back of your head. None of that's there. It's just kind of just, and without that stuff, it honestly feels like that is normality. That is reality. It should be. It, should be. it is. It's just, we don't, we create it to be something else because it's a mirage that we make for ourselves. It's just mm. pure madness. Well, I'll tell you straight up, like, I woke up at 3 o'clock, I finally put up the trellises for the for one of the sides of vines on the balcony, fucking cleaned the kitchen, finally. It has not been that beautiful in, like, four fucking weeks. Do you feel a lot better when you've done a good cleaning? And Bro. Just, isn't it a like, huge difference, right? Well, when you get on top of your shit, it's kind of the same thing, because then that voice just has nothing to, to get you on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, in a sense, that voice actually... It, it, it's that it's that parental voice mm. that we have, which I hear with my voice, but I can hear my father in that voice. Oh, yeah. I can hear my mother in that voice, but in a different sense. And every friend you've ever looked up to. Yeah, and 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 you just you just measure those words in your own voice, in your own head, to what you're actually doing, and you just feel like shit about yourself. But when you actually get up and do something, and it shuts up. Yep. Yeah, because you're doing what you're actually supposed to be doing for a fucking change. The problem mm-hmm. is, if we do consistently the thing that that voice has been talking about, it'll think of something else for us to be, we should be doing. Yeah, but I mean, that's just the way it goes, because there's always something that we should be doing, and then there's what we want to be doing, which is generally just kind of a waste of time that doesn't give anything back to us. I think that's the difference. I think if um, the voice quits... I think when it knows you're doing enough and whatever spare that you need to do is stuff that you can do from passion rather than necessity. It's that nagging voice of here's life, here's a form, here's a bill, here's an email, here's a, an, a, any other obligation that we have to do that we're just not passionate about, that we get bored about straight away and has to be done. And then, you know, once those things are taken care of, I feel like the voice just starts to back off a lot. Yeah, I like that you brought in passion because there's really two ways around that shitty little voice. There's passion or there's duty. Or there's well, service. It. When you're serving service. somebody else. Service is... Yeah, that's a, that's a big voice, actually. Are you being of service to someone? Are you doing the right thing for someone? Are you, are you, are you Yeah, I feel like, you know, I check myself morally. Am I doing enough for other people? Yeah. And, I, you know, there are weeks and months where I go by so self-obsessed that there's a, a craving to feel better about myself for doing something for somebody else because you know being yeah, of yeah. service being of service to other people is the ultimate yeah you've, you've stepped into something good. <laughs> We're talking about those voices in your head that like you know keep berating you for not doing enough at this or that or whatever yeah we've spoken about this briefly before actually the two of us as teachers we're yeah. constantly oh, thinking shit. of that 
I was handing you that one. But yeah. Eggy. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Cheers, man. Nice to a nice chilled hot night. Yeah, um, really nice. Evening. Are you going to do bottomless mimosas on the weekend? Alex's teachers, we Ooh. get this shit all the time because oh, like, oof. Yeah. What was that? What hair on your face, man? Oh, you Should ask you. for some bourbon. That's what you get, bro. That's uh, that. Oh, Jesus. did you hear the story? You like, took that thing like it was nothing. It tasted like unleaded oh, to like me. My bourbon. There's a funny story <laughs> from last from last week. This guy, um, I can't remember who he's from. I think he might have been from Jordan or something. Oh yeah. He came. He came wondering. He, he was amongst this group sitting here, and he came went into the bar and he came back, and he was cradling in this, uh, you know, short glass yeah. with ice. And we're like, oh, what's that look like? Oh, what is that? He goes, oh, it's a, uh, uh, it's an Italian whiskey. Oh yeah. Italian and, whiskey. And uh, Kenny was sitting here. This I have to try. And Kenny, yes. Kenny was sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> and Kenny, no and Kenny's like. At all. Uh, an Italian whiskey. <laughs> what the fuck is an Italian whiskey? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And they ha- he hands the drink over, and it, we taste it's like it. A and it's wine. Like, it's it, a fucking unicorn. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's like some vodka. <laughs> we tasted it, and it was like, this isn't fucking whiskey, man. This is amaretto or whatever oh, yeah, the fuck. Yeah. He goes, oh, she, the lady said it was a, it, it was a whiskey. Italian, Italy. Italian whiskey. It's in very famous Italy. for their whiskey, Italian. I mean, that's a bit of a stretch. Amaretto's Jesus. got exactly nothing the fuck to do with whiskey. I bet you. Last time they met each other was around the Big Bang. I bet you that Italian. dude also drove a Ferrari. When the Adams refused, hey? I said, I bet you that guy also drove a Ferrari. <laughs> no way, dude. Italian whiskey. This guy, uh, he was wearing it the whole night, man. Where's the Italian whiskey at? Get him an Italian whiskey. Oh, dude. Yeah, so um, what were we saying? Like, um, mm. due Sorry, to, you, you, you're saying uh, the three answers to fucking the interrupted, Dylan. What the fuck, man? Sorry, <laughs> How Sorry, dare you interrupt by just sitting at the seat that we've put aside for you and the microphone and the head? How dare you? Dude, you're so happy I'm here. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy. But Alex was saying three ways to quell that, that voice in your head. Yeah. Like well, you duty. brought in passion, which I fucking love. Passion, duty, and service. Yep. Ooh, your personal nice. duties, your service, and your passion. Yeah, was, I'm going like to write that down. I think um, because you, you, you tell me what you're saying first. We were saying that... um, uh, Well, we started we on the subject of sleeplessness and how delirium oh, yeah. helps you with that voice where you just kind of switch exactly. that part Exactly. We have these, um, these tendencies, for me anyway. Yeah. But if, if I don't have a, a full night's sleep, the next day I'm kind of a bit fuzzy. But that yeah. fuzziness blocks all of that ne- uh, that, that grasping, okay. needy, judgment voice, you know? I just kind of get into a bit more of a floaty mood. So you crave the sleeplessness? I don't crave it because I, I love sleep. But um, yeah. I just find that eventually I'll hit a wall and then I'll sleep. But after a big night's sleep, I'll wake up and those voices are there. Hey, Those you've been asleep. You've like been you've been asleep for too long. Get up yeah. and do do lesson plan. Get up and uh, make breakfast. Get up and clean the place. Get up and pay this bill. Get up and look up. Uh, look yeah, this up. I Get up it. and learn Hungarian. Like what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, you, you what know? are you doing with your life? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shrooms, constant, shrooms is a bad one. A parental that. voice. I get that a parental voice in my head. Yeah, yeah. That's not my parents. It's my voice, but it's their yeah, words. Yes, so I understand. Yeah, yeah. I think we. I think it's a good thing. Shouldn't see it as that's, a bad thing. That's the other yeah. thing we were saying. Is that. Once, once you do the duty side of things, I feel it shuts up, yeah, yeah, and then it leaves you space to do the things that you're passionate about or that you want to do as a service. Oh, what a conversation! Yeah, it's a big one. Yeah, I don't know. Don't you feel better when you know you've done stuff that you don't yeah, want yeah. to do, but you've done it, like cleaning your apartment? I mean, I actually like cleaning up, but like cleaning yeah. up. Cutting Especially your fucking cleaning, fingernails, you know, so shaving, yeah. um, fixing up the bills, uh, you know, yeah, like yeah. just like normal day to day tasks. Exactly. Just Adulting. getting it done. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I guess so. In a, in a way, but it's good to get into a routine of these things. I think once you're in that routine, then it doesn't become like something we're thinking about. You know what I mean? Well, you guys are automatic. Is this what you were saying. I don't know. You're it's automatic. It it's automatic. Yeah. So if you can make it automatic. If you can make it automatic, then then you can worry about other things afterwards. It's mm-hmm. kind of like this. Like when I when I clean the house, I have a system. Or when I cook, I have a system. Because I'm not. I'm, I don't enjoy cooking. I like the fact that I can cook some dishes and I yeah, can yeah. do that. 
but I don't have a passion or, or, or a, a, an affection for it as Alex does or Yaz does. Mm. But I have a system now that I use to make the process enjoyable. I put on a podcast, I put on a, a, a YouTube video, and I enjoy that time of listening to that and cooking at the same yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. So I've systemized it so that it's doable and enjoyable. So in a sense, every couple of Wednesday or every Wednesday or Thursday, when I get home, I have, I get into I want to cook dinner mode. Mm. Whereas if I didn't have that system, it'd be a chore for me. Anything that's yeah, a dude, chore. I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm similar to you, but I'm different in the sense where whenever I have to do something I don't want to do. I just tell myself stop being a little pussy. <laughs> stop being like, a pussy. Like it sounds a funny. Puss. Yeah, it sounds it sounds puss. funny. Puss. Stop but being it, a puss. It's true. Like I kind of I try I try and tell myself just. This is the hard farm life of no, it's uh, not. South Africa, man. I knew this was gonna come up, but it's not about that. <laughs> it's just a, it's a way of South dealing. South African, bro. Now I'm here. I am a South African. Oh, yes, there yes, we yes. go. So. Oh, by the way, the way this, is, this is Jasmine's brother. Yeah, I was thought I I didn't want to. I thought so. But I can make your What's happening here? So you've also, you know about it. You know about it. Yeah, there we go. I've heard so. So, I don't know. It's not a, it's in no negative way or anything like that. But it's just the way I cope with it. Thanks, Ivan. I just tell myself, I don't know, wake, if I wake up and I'm just like, fuck, you know, we've got this to do and that to do or whatever. Pull your socks just have up, a, just do it. Yeah, pull your socks up. We say, you know, have a cup of cement. Uh, a <laughs> teaspoon of cement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Man yeah. the fuck up. You know, yeah, you got, harden you got, the fuck up. That's what yeah, we say in we Australia. Say have, 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 a, have a spoonful of concrete and harden the fuck up. Similar. Similar. We, we say similar to that. Pull, pull your right big, right pants, right your right boy, big boy pants on and stuff like that. But then again, you, 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 you've got to be careful also what you're saying. You can't, you can't be saying these things anymore. Thank Man you. the fuck up. Like now these days you get in trouble for things like that. You never, because you women never could do that as well. Can't. You never can't can't. It's just that it's, it's now like more socially acceptable to not. But I don't like this idea of can't. I really don't. No, yeah. Like, hey, fuck but, it. You but, can. But you can. You can say what you want to say, but yeah. Ah, you know toxic I mean. masculinity and all that stuff comes into the yeah. <laughs> the mix when we talk about good old toxic masculinity. Jeez, Actually, that yeah. Looks like a oh, meal. Jesus, Alex. Yeah, well done. Talk about masculinity. Look at this. That's yeah. a, this is a man's a, meal. A half for a man and a half. What you want? <laughs> what you want? <laughs> what, <laughs> what you want? <laughs> what you want? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, just, uh, I, 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 I like the conversation though because I think everyone goes through it, but not anyone wants to speak about that shit. You know yeah. What, what uh, masculine, t- toxic masculinity? Well, no, no, not necessarily. But just that you know, there's always like a shadow behind you, and there's always you. Every single day, every single person has to sit down with themselves yeah. for at yeah. least a minute or two, yeah. minimum. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone has to eventually sit down, and uh, you, you know. You have to sit down with yourself and have a check, have a look, have, see what's a up. A daily check? Sometimes it's daily, sometimes it's more than once in a day, sometimes it's, it doesn't know. It depends it on the person. Over, but, it but becomes overbearing when it's constant. Though. When it's constant, yeah. If, you, if you're constantly thinking about it, like every minute of every day, and it's not a good thing, man. It's not a good thing at all. It can't be a good thing. How could it be? That's, it, it needs to be moderated. I think yeah. that's what happens when you don't give yourself time to think about it. Yeah, and I then it just so. bugs you constantly. Yeah, but it's I think a it's also voice. I think yeah. these days as well, it's a lot to do with like what you perceive yourself as and what you think people see you as. Oh yeah. So that's a big thing. Like we yeah. shouldn't actually really give a fuck what people see you as, as long as you're happy with yourself. And I know it's just in words, because it's not the reality. <laughs> Them's big words. It's, yeah. It's, Most people want to be. It's not reality. We know. We all know that because you. It, a shortcut to feeling happy about yourself is having other people tell you how good you are. Exactly, exactly. It's a, it's it's a, a, it's a shortcut. It's yeah, like yeah. Having, picking up a drink and putting it down because you want to get a little bit fuzzy in the head. Exactly, yeah. Oh, Mr. Alex. The co-host has finally arrived. Hey. It's like an hour and a half late. Dead. We're about Jesus, to close. It's, we're <laughs> eight minutes to close. Is it that? What? Yeah, yeah man. It is eight minutes to Ten to ten. Alex, yeah, jump in. Legend. I should have went with you guys back home. I don't know why. Alex, <laughs> Alex, last night you were such an elf. <laughs> you were such an elf last night. You elf, looked though. adorable, man. Your facial look. Uh, guess who I bet today? Brody. Yeah, man. He was going to come on the podcast. Hello, man. What's up? How are you still alive? I'm good. I was working at 10. What? Yeah, you said this. Good day. Yeah. You're back. 
<laughs> for the last beer, get, get the last call or something. Right? Yeah, hey, yes, you guys yeah, picking up too. One last beer. No fuck. Yeah. Two last beer. Two. Oh uh, yeah, it's Emil. Yeah. Emil, can you get me one? Hello. I'm thinking we should. I, I've got. I just got one. I think I should get one. Yeah, maybe. Get one more for the road. Alex, you were supposed to co-host with me tonight, man. What happened? That's tonight. Tonight, bro. We talked about it last night. Nah, man. We might have. We might have. Ah, not this one. Fair enough. How'd you pull up this morning? Did you stay at the full time? I've yet to go to bed. Uh -huh. wow. Me neither. Yeah, um, no, I, had, bed. I had a I'm couple of hours sleep. Where you are, except she's got the three hours of sleep. Dude, I haven't done that in years. <laughs> Dude, I've been doing it once a week this this last six months. I've seen a few few mornings. And I was like, Woo. oh boy, I am being up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm, I, no, no judging. I was like, good for you, man. Good for you. <laughs> no judging whatsoever. I was like, fuck it, I should, yeah, you know. I Fuck should be man. like Josh. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't, don't. don't. <laughs> don't be like Josh. <laughs> no. As long as I get to class on time and no. do a lesson that's on plan, I'm doing, happy doing with your job. Fuck exactly. Yeah. Whatever yeah. you're doing, yeah. whatever you're doing behind the scenes is fine. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying like it gets a bit boring when you're sitting at home all day. Sometimes, it's like every now and again, you need to. You need Lash to live out. the area. Exactly. It's, it's, the it's good for the soul, man. It's good. It's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, fun. It's a little, it's a fun, it's Just a fun job. Just speaking to people is good for the soul. Exactly. Imagine, some people don't speak to anybody. You know what? That's sad. Like, you don't speak to nobody. Yaz and I were, were thinking about taking a, a day of, of, uh, of silence. I'll just turn off the mic. Yeah, sweet. Um, Yaz and I are thinking about taking a day of silence. Yeah, but we, well, we're not allowed yeah. to be at home. We have to be out. But we're just going to have a day where we don't speak. And we tell people, like, like yeah. well, just to see what it's don't like. Don't put that on the podcast. <laughs> That's shrooms. what you do, yeah. Uh, Take some shrooms and just go on a walkabout. You go, a you walkabout? Cheers to that. There you go, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Okay. Well, uh, well, no, we'll keep going until every look. It doesn't look like anyone's leaving in the last next five minutes. What does the law say? Well, I mean, if they want to be pricks about it, they'll somehow know that this place should be closed at ten, and then if they see us open past ten, they'll, they'll oh, so come slinking by. So the law or what? At the moment. Oi, Kiri, the king. You come and say goodbye, but we're going to pack up soon. You're still making food for this time. Yeah. For an hour. Delivery. All right. I hope you had fun tonight. We did. It was oh, a very chilled night. This is very relaxed. It really? gets a little bit wilder than this. Yeah. The food was great. The food was awesome, man. Did you um Those chicken wings are amazing. Always. Yeah. Always always. Mongo. I had the uh the uh, quesadilla. Oh, tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, should really have had a taste yeah. of I it. Made that. You made that. I made that. It was the best one I've had here. Don't tell anyone. Thank you very much. And uh, you're putting the the baking powder, the baking paper in, and putting it. Yeah, yes. that's the best way to do it. They get yes. stuck otherwise. Yeah. yeah. Hey. I've worked at a cafe before. Yeah, you know what's up. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna paper. say. That's a man that knows what's up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I hope thank you. you. Had fun. Yes, thank we you did. For letting me in. And thank you for for dedicating this day of service thank you very and um, much. we're going to be pulling for you to stay thank right? you. thanks for so feeding everybody thank you very much. <laughs> yeah thank man you. thank you and keep those ideas coming yes you know? i will goodbye guys All Cheers. Right. see you later king oh dude yeah what a day what a fucking cool. it was such a cool day that's awesome man yeah it was such a cool day what the fuck and, and to top it off here i am having a few beers with the with the guys and the girls <laughs> What a day. How's, um, uh, what do we got? Uh, should I try and call someone out? Try call, I'm, I'm hopeless. No one's back to me. Let me I reckon, I reckon, um, I'm going to try... Not even one. Vanessa. Uh, she's not going to pick up because she, she was supposed to come on tonight, actually. Thanks, guys. And, uh, she... She chickened out. Nah, she was feeling a bit rough from a big night out. The, uh, the, from the basement again. The basement struck again. Oh, when was that? Not for us. For last night, for Vanessa. For Vanessa, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hang on, maybe I can Bluetooth Looking good, this. Uh, she's not going to pick up. What do you think I should do, Josh? Should I go in for a... We're getting close to you now, so two blocks can be... I reckon let's, let's load up with a, a couple of beers each. If you... If you run in and um, order them on my 
Okay, I'll put them on my tab. Because I'm going to pay now, so... Actually, I'm going to pay as well. So, yeah, let's get a beer How many minutes are you, you want to run this for? Well, I mean, we're meant to go to Stumps and... Yeah, you can buy it. I mean, we could just, we could just end it. Yeah, let's end it. Yeah? All right, guys. Cheers. Thanks for having us. Thank you guys for uh, oh, checking this out. If you are checking this out, or if you will in the in the not too distant future, um, coming up soon, we're going to be here running podcasts alongside karaoke nights, open mic, movie screenings, perhaps, and a whole bunch of other stuff that's going to be opening up as soon as the rest of the country opens up. Three th- thirty thousand left, dude. By the end of this evening, probably. Just We're a few on the pennies. verge. We yeah. are on the verge of returning back to normality. So be there or be square. And we'll be here to catch it all, guys. So uh, thank you, Dylan. No, cheers, mate. Thanks and we so had much. Alex on and Thanks. we had uh, Johnny. Johnny was cool. Got some really cool tattoo stories. Yeah, that was awesome. We will be here next week as usual. So uh, take care, everyone. Good luck, guys. Come on.